Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to create Christmas lights in this building. So, first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer, new blank layer. And now I'm going to select my brush and I'm going to my brush brushes panel where I can change the behavior of the brush. So the first thing I want to do is change the spacing. So let's see. Okay, this looks quite cool. Let me just reduce a bit more. Just put it a bit closer. Yep. Yeah looks quite cool as it is. I want the size a bit smaller probably. Let's see. Yeah, very cool. And I'm going to reduce the spacing a bit more because I just reduced the size. So that's the first. Now I'm going into shape dynamics. And what, what I want is I want to because when you the, the light bulbs they might look they are the same size but when you look at them in different angles they look different shapes sometimes and so what I'm going to do is I want to go to roundness jitter about 50 something the angle as well and minimum diameter so around 50 something like that and let me see how it looks now and it looks quite cool and as you zoom in as you can see they not they don't look the same which is exactly what I want so I'm happy with this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm going to just click and click and I'm just following the lines of the building like so obviously if you're doing this just make sure you zoom so it will be better and now I'm just going to right click on the path and click stroke path and I've got many options and I'm going to select brush and I'm going to click OK and as you can see we've got some lights right here and we can save this path if we want but let's create another one so let's grab my pen tool again I'm going to create a new layer because I want individual layers and we'll see why so I'm just going something like this I'm just clicking why just so you can see something like so and I'm clicking I'm going to reduce the size of the brush now so I'm just going to select my brush go into my panel and bring the size down because it's a window you don't we don't want them the lights is big so right click stroke path and I select brush and I'll click OK now I'm going once again I can uh, save the path but I'm going to just deselect it create a new layer <coughs> and now I'm going just to do with a brush because some people they don't they don't like to use the pen tool so I'm going to use just a normal brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click once right here go to the top hold shift and click so something like this like so and now I'm just going to one in here hold shift because this way it gives me a straight line like this like this hold shift click and I've got another straight line and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to do exactly the same click hold shift click like so like so click hold shift and holding shift so when you hold shift it maintains a straight line so it's getting it's looking cool so I'm going to just create another one and like so now I'm not going to be as precise and I'm going to put the bottom one bottom windows in just one layer like this shift like so so there we go so still looks a bit fake so what can we do well let's go into the first layer and we're going to just click right here on the bottom where it says FX and we're going to select outer glow and uh, we can change the color so let's see something like this 
and let's see this. let's click OK let's spread a bit something like this not too much so I can keep it like this I can go to the other one and open again the FX panel and I can go into outer glow and I can leave it with yellow but not too much and the, I can improve the size when I make the size bigger it looks like it goes it glows a bit more so I can go something like so and I'll click OK and because I want all these windows the same I can just copy the same layer style so I just come here holding ALT option on the Mac clicking on the FX icon here and drag and drag and drag and as you can see doesn't look too bad so very cool but if you do it to the entire image believe me it will look really cool but why stop here so what I want to do now is I want to animate this so I can come here to timeline create video timeline and we've got these bars right here so I can have them flashing, I want them flashing so I'm just going right here on the bottom and I have like this so I have a layer and I can the layer is converted to a frame so now I have the empty layer like so I'm just going to add a new layer like this get another layer and add the other light add another one and bring it back the other one get another one and another one and now we've got the time in here we've got five seconds I'm going to hold shift and select them all and I'm going to put 0 0.2 seconds and I'm going to hit play and uh, I can come here where it says once, once, just click forever and we hit play imagine this to the entire building how cool is that? I hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now and by the way happy holidays